Invasion of privacy and the freedom of the press are both important topics in American law. The 1971 case of Dedeman v. Time Incorporated documents what happened when the two areas intersected. A. A. Dedeman was a disabled veteran with little education who considered himself a healer. Dedeman didn't have medical equipment. Instead, he used clay, minerals, and herbs. He saw people in the den of his home, but he didn't have a sign on his home or place advertisements anywhere. Dedeman didn't even have a phone. Visitors would ring Dedeman's bell, and he would unlock his gate and invite them in. Dedeman didn't charge people for his services, but he accepted contributions. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office got recordings from inside Dedeman's home on two occasions. In 1963, Life magazine made an arrangement with the DA's office that allowed Life to gather pictures and information as evidence against Dedeman that Life could later publish. Life sent two employees, Jackie Metcalf and William Ray, to visit Dedeman's home. Metcalf had a radio transmitter hidden in her purse, and Ray had a hidden camera. Metcalf and Ray lied and said that a friend had sent them, so that Dedeman would unlock the gate and allow them inside. Ray captured photos without Dedeman's consent, and the conversation was transmitted to a tape recorder in a parked car nearby. Another life employee, someone from the DA's office, and an investigator from the State Department of Public Health were in the car. Metcalf claimed that she had a lump on her breast. One photo showed Dedeman looking at some sort of gadgets, touching the top of Metcalf's breast, and holding what looked like a wand in his other hand. Dedeman concluded that Metcalf had eaten rancid butter 11 years, 9 months, and 7 days before their meeting. The next month, Dedeman was arrested for practicing medicine without a license in violation of the California Health and Safety Code. Life employees were present at Dedeman's home at the time of his arrest and took pictures. A couple weeks later, Time published an edition of Life magazine that included an article entitled Crackdown on Quackery. The article depicted Dedeman as a quack, included a picture of Dedeman with Metcalf in his den and another from his arrest, and referenced information from the conversation Life recorded. Dedeman sued Time for invasion of privacy. The court found for Dedeman and awarded him damages. Time appealed. 